they have pizza for you guys again tonight? No pizza. What the heck? How rude of them. Seriously. But at least you guys made the top ten. Yeah. You know, you guys are back. Yes. You guys got to perform tonight for Dr. Jill Biden and yeah. Michelle Obama. Oh, oh my God. I know. How excited were you guys to meet them? I, it was incredible. They came, they like completely gutted out our artist tent and they no put up way. all these these blue, like very presidential things yeah. and they walked oh, in and they owned the room and it was really fun. We got to take pictures and meet and greet hugs. Yeah. I got a hug from the first lady. Oh my God. It was crazy. How fun. They secured the premises, the whole thing. That's what I was going to wonder. How was security going? Lockdown. Yeah. It was intense. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. Were you guys nervous to get out there and perform? Or are you just like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to go out and perform. It was fun to perform with the entire group. I think yeah. that took all the nerves away oh, yeah. because you you were kind of all the support of your, yeah. your brothers and sisters and you were singing for the first lady. If it was just me singing like that song for the first lady while she stood on stage. <laughs> yeah. Probably could have got through it. But. And in that moment, I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't about us. You yeah. know, it was, it was the song carrying and uh, carrying a message to these people who have. I mean, the highlight should have just been on them. You know, it was for the people and for the families and veterans. Um, so yeah, it was an honor to sing with these people. How long does that take you guys to kind of prepare for and rehearse and all of that for the group numbers? quite a while. I yeah. think we worked on it for about three days, two okay. hours a day. So. And then a long stage rehearsal with it, just because there was a marching band and then there's 10 of us moving right. and making sure that looked cohesive and awesome. So yeah, it took a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, talk about your guys' performances for tonight. You mentioned your mom and how she had an influence on you. Absolutely. My mother is a tremendous singer and I grew up listening to her sing and I just kind of mimicked different singers and, and I don't know. I just always felt free to do it because yeah. of her, um, and she never pushed music on me or you know pushed performing or getting up in front of people to sing. It was just always this hobby that we had, mm -hmm. and we loved it. And so, yeah, she means a lot to me, especially with uh, music. She's the first person I want to talk to after I sing a song. I want to hear her thoughts. Oh, and she's here with you, so that's she awesome. Did. Yeah, she comes every show. Every show, she's here. Very cool. Was there anyone in your life growing up that you that was inspiring you to sing? Mm -hmm. No, I started singing. <laughs> no, 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 no like famous singers or anything that oh, you looked I up mean, to. <laughs> I've always looked up to Michael Jackson, okay. but there's <laughs> my father played professional soccer, so nice. my my life was never about singing. I actually never, I'd never been in a singing group because we didn't have choir in my high school. We had no singing at all in my high school mm -hmm. until I was in college. So I've singing, been only singing for the last three years, and. Uh, it's awesome, been pretty yeah. fun. That's cool. Yeah. It's very fun. So we're going to find out what you guys think about your other top 10 members. So hate them. I hate oh, everyone that's not on Team Pharrell. Yeah. Uh -oh. Just kidding. I love them all. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys something and you have to tell me who that person is. Okay. Oh, okay. Easy. okay. Who is the messiest out of all of you guys? Adam Wakefield. Oh. Is it Adam? That's what I've heard. Adam I Wakefield. Okay. He's messy. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe Mary Sarah. I hear Mary Sarah's room is really messy. I know, shocking. I'm I'm actually really shocked by that. I think those those are my two guys. I think okay. everybody's clean. Okay. He's gonna play it safe. Except for Hannah, she's the messiest. Ooh. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Teacher here, organization. Yeah, here. exactly. <laughs> you know. You organize everything. You label. You sanitize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Hannah. I love it. Who is the funniest? Daniel. Daniel is very funny. I would also say. I'm just kidding. Me. Oh, okay. Uh, see, I know. I got it. Yeah. Uh huh. All right, Hannah's the funniest. A little, yeah. <laughs> All right. And who is most Wait, likely. Wh oh. What were the other people saying? Who did they say was the funniest? Who did they guess was the funniest? We actually got one of you ah. so far. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, and last but not least, who is most likely to take a dare? Take a dare? Mm -hmm. Brian. That's what I heard. Because Brian, Brian, oh, thinks he's, Brian thinks he's the coolest. Yeah, he hears me over there. We're talking about you. We're talking about you. Get over here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Congratulations Thank on making top ten, and good luck tomorrow night. Thank, Thank you. So